Good morning from Northwest Oklahoma. I have the extreme honor of finding new homes for this collection of dolls. They come from a single collector. Some of them have already been sold, but I wanted to put the collection together as much as I could one last time, just in honor of the person that collected them and in honor of the beautiful pieces that were acquired. I'm gonna show a quick once over of everything and then I'll go into more detail. I have a fly that has been following me and so I apologize for my shaky filming. They are from the 1800s to present. There are all different brands, types, and I had them all set up and some of them slipped down and think they were playing last night. Somebody asked me if they were haunted and I'm not a ghost specialist but I have had no weird occurrences at all. I get nothing but good vibes from them. I get nothing but sweet vibes, nothing bad. So I'm sorry if you were wanting a haunted doll. I don't think they're haunted. I think they have many, many memories of little kids playing with them and the collector took extreme care with them. And this is my living room completely taken up with dolls. So I'll just start at this end for the quick once over. If you have any questions that I don't answer in the videos, just ask in the comments and I'll answer away. I don't know a lot about dolls. I'm learning since I have these. There were some really old pool toys. His little ball right there is broken and he winds up in the back. I'll try to go fast for people that just want to see it and be done. And then I'll go into detail for those of us that love to look at all the little details of them. This little guy is beautiful. These I think are flat, made from flower sacks. I think when you got your flower there was a design on it and people would make them for their children. He's in bad shape, but they're so beautiful. And she's so pretty. There's an old Buster Brown Packer. Sorry for the fish tank sound in the back, but I didn't want to have to unplug it. My fish likes it. For the sake of privacy, I'm not going to give out the name of the estate that these came from, but I will say I've heard some beautiful stories about this person, and I hope that somewhere they know that we are preserving and helping to keep the collection alive. And they've been such, they've been taken care of so well.
this is going to be a part one and the other parts will be more detailed I'll, I'll show you more close-ups that's a Marie Osmond I don't know what who she is little folk art dolls right here that somebody made for the folk art. After I go through all the dolls, I'm going to show you which one I kept. It's not in this collection because I already pulled it. I've told myself every single day I am not a doll collector. I am not. But I decided to save one, and maybe two, just as a memory of this amazing experience. But surely I need to move her hair back. There she is. Shirley Temple. This one is so old that I was afraid to even touch it. It has the most beautiful velvet coat on and I have not removed it because I don't want to break or tear anything. This one with the cape is just stunning. Just their features. I don't know much about the Frozen Charlotte dolls. Um, one of them has a broken foot. I don't know how little kids played with these and didn't break their feet. Because their feet clack together. These German dolls are beautiful. I haven't messed with their eyes. This one has crooked eyes and I haven't tried to push them back or anything. I decided the owner can do that at their own risk. We are Dolls of Whimsy on eBay. I'm going to go a little slower through here because these are my favorites. Aren't they beautiful, their little faces? so hard to get the whole collection in. But my family needs a place to sit. All these dolls are sitting on my kitchen table. That's my fireplace behind them. <laughs> and my family kind of wants chairs to sit in, so I'm going to be numbering these, picturing them, making a record of all of them. So each one of them will have a number. There are currently some collectors that are looking at buying the entire collection, but if those fall through, if those fall through, I will be listing them separately, offering them separately, and I will be breaking it up. As I put these up, I'm going to photograph each one. I'm going to put a number on it, and then I will be posting it either to Facebook or eBay. sitting on my hand and will not move. I love that monkey.
she's got some heavy makeup bar on the back. <laughs> his tail wags whenever you move his head. This little boy is awesome. And I don't know why this little guy was in the collection, but if anybody knows who he is, I cannot find it. If you know things about these dolls, please add them in the comments and that will help everybody to know what they are. I believe this is Chatty Cathy, and there are several Chatty Cathy's in this collection. There's a Murray Osmond one in the back there, but you can't see her face, but she's pretty. And we can't find the names of the one in the purple dress on the left, if anybody knows it. And who is she? She looks like she's ready to go dancing. These bigger dolls are just so amazing. A lot of these are horsemen. Um, a lot are unmarked. I love QB. QB has some damage on its head, but it's still so cute. They have a lot of sleepers. Sleepers mean that their eyes close and open. A lot of them have teeth. Dimples. I love their dimples. They're so cute. counting at 300. The honest truth is I lost count at 300. I'll show you some of the tiny ones. The place that the dolls came from was kid free, smoke free, um, pet free, there were no animals there. I do have one cat, she is locked out until I move the dolls up, but I do think that she has escaped. I love the patchwork bunny. So this is the first view of all of them. A quick run through. My next videos will be each set. And he um he has that around his neck just because I don't want it to break. It swivels, but it's supposedly a rare one, and I didn't want anything to happen to it. But it's so cute. So thank you for looking. 
you have any questions or comments and just one more time to the person that's letting me keep the dolls until they find their new home I absolutely have had the best time That's it. Goodbye from Oklahoma. Stay cool and hydrated. And let me know if you have any questions. So I was right about somebody escaping. She's glad to have a sip of that. I told you I'd tell you my favorite one out of all of them. And it is this one right here. The sun is bright in the back. She was made by Polka Dot Pig Primitives from here in Oklahoma. I love Polka Dot Pig Primitives. I will link her site below. She makes all of her dolls, and she is such an inspiration to me because I love making dolls too. But hers are just, they are magic. I have one other from her, and now I have this girl, and um, both from Betsy. And so this is the one I'm definitely keeping out of all the dolls. Thank you for watching Steve Bike Designs. Thank you for being kind in the comments and for letting me share this spectacular collection. Have a good day.